Hello everyone, my name is Farniza Morkaban and today we are going to discuss about the issues and challenges of contemporary literature as well as the development of genres in this whole literature. But before we dive into the main topic, let us first have a short review of what contemporary literature is. Contemporary literature is defined as literature written after World War II through the current day. Works of contemporary literature reflect a society's social and or political viewpoints shown through realistic characters, connections to current events, and socio-economic messages. Sounds like a normal term. However, according to Bruce Sterling, that there are issues and challenges in this literature. And that being said, is what we are going to discuss today. The issues and challenges of contemporary literature. But first, who is Bruce Sterling? Bruce Sterling, or Michael Bruce Sterling, is an American science fiction author known for his novels and short fiction and editorship of the Mirror Shade Anthology. And for him, there are 18 issues and challenges. These are number one. Literature is language-based and national. Contemporary society is globalizing and polyglot. Literature requires an intense and focused mastery of one specific language, whereas globalization seems to contort works into their simplest form, movies, comics, and commercials. Learning as many languages as possible will increase the linguistic weapons at your disposal if you like tricks and flourishes. Learning the hidden channels of power within the single language is no longer a sexy road to becoming one of the global elite. The very nature of a piece of literature written in a specific, difficult language is a hostile gesture in a world where greater emphasis is placed on accepting other nationalities and culture at face value than on history. Literature does not have to change to become more global and polyglot, but the translation nexus does. Fiction writers should seek to learn at least one other languages as well as they know their own. And this author must then do their time of translation, translating books that they particularly like back and forth between languages to satisfy a worldwide base of thoughtful, polyglot fiction enthusiasts. Number 2. Vernacular means of everyday communication. Cell phones, social networks, streaming video, are moving into areas where printed text cannot follow. Books are replaced by cell phone, tablets, and electronic devices. Because we are living in the new era where technology is emerging and developing, it is not surprising that we tend to use it more than the traditional or old way of communicating. However, companies who use printed text cannot keep up with the advancement. That is why they are having trouble following it. Because people today want to use electronic devices for a fast and easy communication than before where people cannot communicate easily. Number 3. Intellectual Property Systems Failing Intellectual property rights are exclusive rights on intellectual creations in fields related to technology or patents, business trademarks, the arts, copyright, all of which have different legal requirements for obtaining and exercising IP. IP rights can have a significant impact on socio-economic development, particularly as they affect national innovation performance and access to knowledge and technologies. IP rights influence incentives for firms and individuals to invest in innovation and creativity and to exploit economically their creations and for universities to transfer knowledge. IP rights also determine the ability of actors to access and implement existing knowledge on efficient terms. These effects make IP policy a critical component of innovation policies. The challenge for policy is to create well-functioning IP system, which must navigate among multiple constraints and objectives at the legal and economic levels, find compromises among multiple actors, and ensure a balance between the promotion of innovation and creativity, and diffusion of ideas and underlying knowledge. Number 4. 
means of book promotion, distribution, and retail destabilize. The rise of ebooks at knockdown prices and e readers like Amazon's Kindle and Barnes and Noble's Nook pose an existential threat to book publishers and sellers. It is not really surprising how internet and digital era affects book promotion, distribution, and retail, especially to bookshops who only sell books. This is because of the wide use of new digital books such as ebooks and Wattpad. In addition, books that are found in this application is mostly free and accessible. That is why printed books is destabilized due to the emerging advancements of digital means of reading. Number 5. Ink on paper manufacturing is an outmoded, toxic industry with steeply rising costs. In this new age of technology, newspapers aren't sure of how best to respond to many of the challenges they face today. These papers are newspapers and other printed materials. These are considered outdated by many. Newspaper company is already slowing down due to the effect of digital inventions of televisions, digital media, and many more. Not to mention how costly is the prices set by toxic industries. Number 6. Core demographic for printed media is aging faster than the general population. Failure of print and newspaper is disenfranchising young apprentice writers. Print readership is steadily declining, newspapers are closing, and journalists with decades of experience are being laid off. The failure of newspapers and magazines is a bigger problem. This is about digital versus printed materials. The emerging advancement is always the cause of this issue. This is because printed texts were only purchased by the older generation than digital. The number of younger generation who tend to read or buy digital material is higher than the printed one. That means it is leaned on more in digital than printed. For the future of print, newspaper struggles to survive in the age of technology since print readership is steadily declining. Number 7. Media conglomerates have poor business model. Economically rationalized culture industry is actively hostile to vital aspects of humane culture. Literature today has a much, much smaller audience, but it has an audience. In the modern period, humane culture is the enemy of efficiency, and humane literature became a literature of opposition. Media companies is not really gaining enough audiences when it comes to news sources and contents. Media strategic planning do not meet the audience's interests, but only by the people who read what they only want to read. Furthermore, offline mass media entertainment industry and other creative industry is very harsh to the humane culture and ethical disciplines. Number 8. Long tail balkanizes audiences disrupts means of canon building, and fragments literary reputation. Using data and movie rating patterns, new Wharton research challenges current thinking on the long tail effect. A widely publicized theory that suggests the internet drives demand away from heat products with mass appeal and directs that demand to more obscure niche offerings. The long tail theory suggests that as the internet makes distribution easier and uses state-of-the-art recommendation system that allows consumers to become aware of more obscure products, demand will shift from the most popular products at the head of a demand curve. As charted on an XY axis to the aggregate power of a long tail made up of demand for many different niche products. Any canon that exists is assembled by somebody or some group who at best has certain tastes and wants to promote those tastes or who at worst has a certain political or social agenda and wants to suppress by omission any books or book covers that don't fit into that agenda. These are people who do not want to be part of the mainstream, wealthy, predominantly male, white, heterosexual, Manhattan and Brooklyn-based literary world. 
these people want to talk to people who share their concerns or who take an interest in their concerns. Number nine, digital public domain transformed traditional literary heritage into a huge, cost-free, portable, searchable database, radically transforming the reader's relationship to Belle Lettres. Technology enabled one-to-one -one correspondence between an author and a reader. This new way of communication is adding new dimensions to the literary fraternity. To take this seriously as a challenge means assuming the readers are just plowing through works of literature looking for citations and quotes. And that now that this is a more efficient process, thanks to huge, cost-free, portable, searchable databases, people will no longer have the same relationship to Belle Lettres. People read books from start to finish because they want to see a world unfolding in front of them. They want to move through the world with the author. It doesn't matter if they are moving through the world via a stack of paperbacks, bought one by one or via a huge, cost-free, portable, searchable database, as long as the reader is enjoying the book in the same way. Number 10. Contemporary literature not confronting issues of general urgency. Dominant bestsellers are in former niche genres such as fantasies, romances, and teen books. Contemporary literature today do not confront social, economic, and political issues but conform niche genres. Contemporary literature's characteristics is a reality-based stories or writing that confronts socio-economic and political issues. However, some of the emerging genres do not confront any of these issues anymore. It do not confront the societal issues, economic and political issues anymore, but conform to genres such as romance, teen books, and fantasies, which we know that are not based off in real scenarios. The very reason for this is these genres are more marketable in the public and more likely to be read at by the younger generations than books which reflect societal, economic, and political issues. It is not surprising because books that contain some of these genres mentioned are more interesting, fun to read, and trendy. However, it somewhat neglects the true essence of contemporary literature which is supposed to create a reality-based stories for real scenarios. As it is described as a reality-based writing. That is why this has become an issue in contemporary literature. The remaining issues and challenges will be discussed by my groupmate, Ms. Annabel Ginubat. Ms. Annabel Ginubat, the floor is yours. I'm Annabel Kendubad and I'm here to report the continuations of the issues and challenges of the contemporary literature. So, number 11. Barriers to public entry have crushed and a huge torrent of sub-literary and or non-literary textual expression. Yes, this is true, but only what's good rises to the top. Just look at the blogosphere. Anyone can blog, but only the best ones are circulated, read, passed on and paid attention to. Number 12. Algorithms and social media replacing work of editors and publishing houses, not work socially generated texts replacing individually authored texts. So it's representative of the idea that digital media is somehow going to replace print media. Why? Did the novel replace the theater? Did film replace either? Not so far. As human beings, we seem to have as much room for forms of entertainment and so on and so forth. Number 30. Convergence culture of literating former distinctions between media. Books becoming one minor aspects of huge tweet, blog, comic, games, soundtrack, television, cinema, ancillary merchandise, profound franchises. This book describes convergence culture. It talks about how computers, cell phones, video game systems, and pretty much all personal electronics are becoming people's all-in-one access point for all culture and all communications with the external world. This is due to computer hardware allowing for better media viewing and also due to the fast spread of media over the internet. Now people can watch TV and movie, listen to music, blog, tweet, 
learn new things, share jokes, and even read books from various all-in-one electronic devices. Okay, so why is this necessarily bad for literature? Because people would choose to purchase the movie and watch it on their own computers and on the same time, many people will feel that they can't afford to invest time into reading books. And young people are even explicitly confirming this as some kind of statement about their generations. People don't feel obliged to read, to read up on popular books to know what everyone is talking about or to impress would be romantic partner, partners. I mean, Upwardly, moral young office workers guiltily commensurate over their love of popular TV shows. And books are one minor aspects of huge tweet, blog, comics, games, soundtrack, television, cinema, ancillary, merchandise, profile franchises because, number one, they're not being promoted by commercial media producers as much as other media. Number two, people don't read books as much, especially literary books, because there are no longer good roots to societal influence, power, and respect. Now, the people who read books saw the out of kind of lame duty to their soul or shockingly because they still enjoy books even though they are no longer good roots to societal influence, power, and respect. Number 14. Unstable computer and cell phone interfaces becoming world's primary means of cultural access. Compositors, system, remark media, and their own hybrid curl image. Technology is moving too fast to be stable at this point, but it's not that we aren't exploring stable methods of cultural archiving. It's a big funding generator in the AU now. The tech won't keep hurting along like this forever. It will slow and it will stabilize. Number 15. Scholars tipped within the discipline becoming cross-linked chalk of all trades virtual intelligentsia. Interdisciplinary is getting bigger. At one time, this cross-linked virtual intelligence was considered grand. The Renaissance was quite a cultural boom, an explosion in art and knowledge. I guess that means that many literary scholars care more about frivolous by their own admissions, multidisciplinary literary, cultural, historical criticism rather than actually reading literary fiction. This is a challenge to literary fiction which seems like it has to rely on support academics. The very words literary fictions imply this. As a result, academics are pressured to stay competitive just like movie producers always have to be making blockbusters. Academics always have to try to be the next academic superstar. Number 16. Academic education system suffering severe bubble inflation. Yes, but it doesn't seem like people will stop going to college. You, we need a college degree to get a white-collar job. In the long run, it is probably still better for most people financially if they go to college, right? And people who plan to have a normal white-collar job after college not involving math or science generally get some random combination of humanities degree. A humanities education is not true to aristocrat gentility or a lifetime of reading books. It is a route to a white-collar job that will mostly involve talking to people. Using basic, basic logic and sending email or maybe twittering. This is one of the consequences of the severe bubble inflation of the academic system. Number 17. Polarizing civil cold war is harmful to intellectual honesty. This seems like this is not a big challenge. Lame. Intellectual senses have existed, existed for hundreds of years and have seized on books stupid, for stupid reasons. A polarizing cold war caused the public to start caring enough about certain books to take moral issues with them. It seems like it is good for all literature. On the other hand, if institutions like academia or maybe the New York Times Book Review, which are still influential, start judging books on the basis of whether or not they feature Muslims or somethings. 
If these institutions just stop reviewing books that are not deemed politically significant, for example, literature would suffer. How to stop this? It seems like blogging and the internet are helping, making sure that there is not just one voice determining what is important in literature for the people who read it. Last, number 18. The gothic fate of porcelain poetry is a specter of this dwindling feast. Lyric poetry used to thrive on formal restrictions, then formal restrictions become unfashionable. That was when lyric poetry stopped being popular. Without restriction, there was suddenly not just much substance on lyric poetry. The aim of lyric poetry is to convey just one image or idea or emotion. This is pretty easy to do with just like a reasonably well-written prose paragraph. Certainly much easier than writing an inter novel or even a short story. We used to have a rule saying that a paragraph of prose was not a poem but now we do it. Modern poetry has been consigned to be the same anything goes limbo as visual arts, but not all. Anything goes is uncomfortable and alienating of most audiences and even most poets and artists. And unlike individual works of visual arts, individual poems are kind of hard to buy, trade, and speculate on financial. Thus, lyric poetry has suffered its gothic fate although it is still practiced by many still now. In contrast to lyric poetry, literary fiction has few formal restrictions which are all to the effect of ideas and sentences must be linked in some way forming a story. These formal restrictions are the same as those on ordinary speech and thought. Restrictions that the mind automatically imposes even on seemingly unconnected statements, I guess what I'm saying is that people naturally tell elaborate stories. People do not naturally describe their feelings in verse, or maybe feelings detached from special narr narratives are not considered important enough to express in poetic language anymore. Hello everyone, so today is I am going to report about the uh, genre of modern literature. So, what is genre? So, there are two concepts of genre. First is literary, second is applied. So, what do you mean by literary in genre? So, literary is a form or a type of work which is a story, a novel, and etc. So, Second is applied. So what is applied in terms of genre? So applied is a word, a type of word. It's either detective, it's either the genre of the story is love story, action movie, and etc. So we will consider it details the applied genre of modern literature. So the genre is a type of literary work that has strict limits, the plot, the main conflict, and the way to solve them, so the characteristic of the hero, and etc. So genre is a dynamic a phenomenon and features of one genre of them penetrate into another generating subgenres. So genres of modern literature first is the action which is a dynamic and as a role bloody genre to the characteristic features of which are the maximum of the action which is the heroes do not stand still even when they are at the fork in the main road and constantly move along the streets of the city from city to city and from country to country it's another thing also the minimum of meaning even at the fault the hero does not think but acts according to circumstances that are really justified by the fact that the west is where the sun sets the minimum of logic no descriptions except battles and the presence of the positive protagonist which is the savior of the world 
humanity, city government, the hero is uncommon. Trained to fight, dong to act in situations of constant stress and danger. Often find himself in the thick of even completely by accident and always survives. The presence of the antagonist, which is a negative hero opposed by the positive hero. So the antagonist as a role is very influential. Rich, smart, slightly out of himself, wants to ruin the world, the country, the city government, and lives to the finale to either die there or go to cheap. And next one is the description of five battles, which is the traps for the hero, various weapons and military. Technology is two-thirds of the books. Mountains of corpses and a sea of blood with a description of injuries, bruises, and torture are mandatory. Half of the corpses from the villain have from the positive hero. So the second genre of modern literature is called detective. So a genre based on the mystery, murder, kidnapping, or thief with the detailed descriptions of the investigation. So these are the features. So logical constructions of the plot. It is randomly is excluded. The causes and consequences are interrelated and grounded. Each assumption has factual basis and justification. And it is also completeness of fact. The investigation is based on the information that is given to the reader. And it should be as complete and reliable as possible. And how I thought of it before, you will learn in the finals. Is excluded. It's important for the readers not only to observe the cause of actions, but also to conduct an independent investigation. And also the presence of a clear static rules, which is investigator, detective, or assistant detective, partner, intern, criminal, or a murderer, kidnapper, and a thief, victim, which is killed, murder, and family. So in four months, judge, grandmother, neighborhood, never who knows everything about everyone which is witness also, witnesses, suspect, which is circle of suspect. And also, the routine of the situation as a role, a small coverage of the territory of the investigation. In the final, all the puzzle must be solved and all the questions are answered. That is the detective. So the third genre of modern literature is love affair. So what do you mean by love of this gem? So it is a lyrical story based on the feelings, emotions, love flowers, a genre features of which are the presence of the outstanding main character with a distinctive feature that distinguishes her from the crowd. Either she is grey mouse and a blue stocking or a stunning beauty with a secret defeat or an old maid or an impulsive seeker or adventure romantic and emotional circumstances that reduce future lovers marriage by calculation meeting at the ball many obstacles that heroes must overcome in the name of love for each other the difference in social status poverty and pride of one of the heroes family foods and etc Emotion descriptions of experience, trouble, explanations and clarifications of relationship against the background of beautiful, entourage, nature, ballrooms, balconies, uh, greenhouses, occupied two-thirds of the book, bright. So the fourth genre which is called sci-fi means science fiction fantasy which is a genre based on the existence and interaction of unusual or unreal elements of phenomena which is fictional world or change reality 
another planet alternative past or future of the earth space and the universe parallel world games reality fairy tale world and etc and is also a system of scientific or pseudo scientific knowledge invented a system of magic a significantly ahead of the development of modern science as well as the result of scientific achievement or techno magic magical artifacts spacecraft and etc this is also non-existence phenomenon phenomena in nature and biological species of plant animals humanoid races and etc in conclusion the emergence of new technological devices and applications had caused a stir and issues in the contemporary literature as it had challenged the traditional system of how contemporary literature is supposed to be. In the sense of the characteristic and its purpose, however, the advances and also opened new opportunities because of its features that caters unlimited Access, efficient purchasing, and reading via online or offline that create a new door for books and to just to get the favorite books anytime and anywhere. So, the genre is a type of literary work that has strict limits, the plot, the main conflict, and the way to solve it, the characteristic of the hero, and etc. Genre is a dynamic phenomenon features of one genre often penetrate into another 